Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo LOQ 15i gaming laptop. This is going to be the Gen 9 version. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your Wi-Fi card. I'll also give you the Wi-Fi card information if you're looking for your own replacement. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. Now you have these four screws along the bottom, one on either side near the middle, and then these four up top for a total of 10 screws. After you get those screws out, you're going to take your small flat plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools will tend to scratch your case a lot more than plastic ones will. And I would recommend starting in, in the back corners here. Uh, you're going to pop it open. You're going to go around this seam, pop the bo uh, bottom case up from the computer. Then you're going to go down each side and then you're going to finish up on this edge. This edge is the hardest to get off. So I would go from the back to the front on this computer. After you've taken your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm opening a computer, it's sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll have all those tools and replacement parts for the LOQ 15i. Now before I do anything in a computer, I will either remove or at least unplug my battery. It makes it safe to work on the computer with as little power as possible running through it. The battery plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, as you can see in your computer, there's a small grip on either side of that black plug. So you can use your fingernails or a pry tool and you can go one side at a time and pry that out from that plug. As with any computer plugs, you want to avoid pulling on the wires as much as possible. You want to just manipulate that plug or whenever possible. Okay, so now that the battery has been unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. This is your Wi-Fi card here on the left underneath this solid state drive port. It's held on by a single screw right there. When you take that screw up, this see-through guard will also come up with it. And then you can unplug the Wi-Fi antenna wires here, the black and the gray. Those are just snaps. Those will snap straight up and off of the Wi-Fi card and then you can pull the Wi-Fi card out of this port right here. To get those back on, those antenna wire, they do have to be at a perfect straight 90 degree angle to get those snapped on, and they are breakable. Um, you can put too much force on there very easily and, and, and bend those snaps, um, damage them if they're not at the right angle. So take your time. It may take a while if you're not used to it, but you can snap those back on. Um, I will have Wi-Fi card specs below in the description if you're looking for your own replacement, but I will also have a Wi-Fi card replacement option below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts and tools. Uh, last thing I'll shout out as far as your Wi-Fi, if your computer is working properly but not picking up any Wi-Fi, it is possible that your Wi-Fi card could be bad and could need a replacement but it also could be something else. Um, it could be a driver issue, an update issue. Um, so I will include above, also below in the description, a video link. It'll be a tutorial on how to fix a computer that's not picking up any Wi-Fi because again, it may not necessarily be your Wi-Fi card. But I hope this video was helpful. That's how you access your Wi-Fi Bluetooth card in the LOQ 15i Gamer. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. 
So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.